Let's make it a good day. We do it our own way. Let's make it a good day. Oh, no matter what they say. Oh, yeah. yeah. Welcome back. Well, 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 well. Food trucks are more popular than ever. They're everywhere, offering up nearly every single type of food. But have you ever wondered, where do food trucks come from, Mommy? <laughs> have you ever wondered, Mommy, where do food trucks come from? Uh, well, many of them are created right here in the Twin Cities. I'm not kidding. I visited Chameleon Concessions in Minneapolis to find out what it takes to create all those food trucks. We have to credit you for getting a hot dog before we go get a two by four. Was it, did you start that? No, it was a concept that was created by Home Depot looking for keeping customers in their stores longer huh. being fed. Yeah. And so then it started out with trucks and trailers and, you know, mobile kiosks inside of the Home Depot stores all across the United States. I became an operator at the store to really learn how mobile aspects of uh, selling hot dogs did it. And then Minneapolis passed an ordinance on food trucks and Boom. Here we are. You knew what you were doing. The food truck boom happened. I remember it. It's been the biggest change from what people wanted at the beginning of the boom to what they're ordering from you now. The uniqueness of them. Typically, all of these types of trucks are like an old retired, you know, um, FedEx truck or an old retired, hmm. um, you know, linen truck. And then converting that because of their size and their capacity to hold the equipment inside of it is what they've gone into. And then now people have decided to go vintage old air streams and you know more things that uh, you know create a more of a eye appeal to something unique and different school buses and so that's kind of the fun thing about it and then the menus have just been you know all over the map but what's been one of the most unusual requests that you and Luke and the and the gang was like hmm how are we gonna do that I would say putting the vehicles on top of a 12-story roof in Tyson Virginia was probably <laughs> one of the crazy ones that we've done and then ever since then you know, they've gone into different aspects of that and we said we can do it. You know, Mark isn't the only star around here. Mark's son Luke is gonna give you all a tour of, uh, of the different types of trucks. So give us a tour, Luke. This is what a typical food truck will look like when it's all empty. It's got the roll up door on the back. It's empty, it was an old delivery truck. And this is what it starts like. And this is how it finishes. We got an upright refrigerator, ice cream dipping cabinet. We put in a whole hood system with an Ansel system as well in case you have a fire. And we got the two burner, flat top, two deep fryers, and then we got a sandwich top. We put shelves here so cook your desired menu and serve it out to the world. I think when a customer comes in and sees some of these older vintage pieces, they may not think that it can be turned into a food truck, but then we convert them all old and deteriorated into this brand new looking route panel van from 1950s. I want them to feel like it's their own kitchen and they can make it their home. And I want them to be able to go out and get their name and serve the food that they wanted and desired to do. I would say my favorite part is, like I said, being able to go see the trucks on mobile sites and being able to go eat from them. But also being able to work with my dad every day, having my mom alongside as well. So having the family business be involved in the whole Chameleon Concessions. Is that your mom and dad right over there? Yes. Are you proud of them? Absolutely. Very proud. Yes. Every day. You know they have to say that because you're on camera. Absolutely. They say it even off camera as well. It's so great that the company's based here. You name, I mean, people, uh, people from Andrew Zimmerman, I mean, uh, to Zimmerman, to uh, food celebrities, they call Chameleon to make their food trucks. That's how well known they are. And one of the great things, you know, I know a little bit about this because I have a few people in my life that, that have restaurants. One of the great things about the food truck kind of revolution is the fact that it makes, you know, if you, if restaurant tours, if, if people that want to open a restaurant, they have an idea. The good thing about food trucks is it, it gives them the opportunity uh, that they may not have because maybe they couldn't afford to do a brick and mortar. You know, they can't afford to do a full restaurant or maybe their concept doesn't really um, isn't conducive to a brick and mortar, you know, renting a place in a shopping uh, uh, area. 
having a food truck is is a great alternative for for folks that want to get in into the business and a lot of great restaurants have started as food trucks including one that i mention quite often here on the show smack shack um you know smack shack started as a food truck outside the uh 1029 bar here in minneapolis serving those lobster rolls uh the popularity grew Smack Shack moved into doing the kitchen operations at the 1029, and then a few years later, they got their own brick and mortar. So um, when you see a food truck, just know, you know, probably 80% of the time when there's a food truck, you're looking at a good independent, locally owned organization. So support them if you can. To learn more about Chameleon Concessions and see them building the trucks, which is great. Their, their Instagram is really cool. Follow them on Insta. Their Instagram handle is Chameleon Concessions. And thanks for letting us in. That was cool. You can literally, if you can dream it, they can build it for you. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're opening up the Jason Show mailbag. A lot of you have a lot of comments about the couch I'm sitting on when we come back. Back in a moment. Stay with us.